Anderson Frontline Series, seven and a half inch, 300 blackout. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Anderson Manufacturing Frontline Series. Now this one is a 300 blackout pistol, seven and a half inch barrel. These are really, really nice guns. They do come standard with a Breek Warhammer charging handle. They've got several other upgrades. They got a Magpul brace on it, Magpul KO2 grip. See, just all in all, pretty good looking gun. You got your M-Lock end with your little tabs to keep it from rotating. Now I did do a couple little upgrades to this, but I didn't have to do much. I put the Magpul trigger guard on it and I did put this little hand stop on the front. Since it's such a short barrel, I didn't want my hand sliding forward. But other than that, and the Swamp Fox Raider on top, this is just how it comes. And this thing shoots pretty well. So let's take some shots with it. Now we are about 25 yards from them, just shooting offhand. And you can tell, the only ones I missed were a couple on the dueling tree. Run another few through it. I need to repaint my dealing tree. It's getting kind of hard to see. All right, let's take a little closer look, go over some of the features of the Anderson 75 Frontline Series. Now, they have this in several different models. They have an 11 and a half, a little 10 and a half quad rail, I believe, a 16, and then a 16 quad rail. But this is the only one that's offered in 300 blackout is a seven and a half inch. Now, like I said before, I did add the Ford hand stop. I changed out the trigger guard to a Magpul trigger guard, added this rail cover on top, and added the Swamp Fox Raider. Other than that, this is just how it comes out of the package. And as I did mention, it does come with a Breek Warhammer Ambi charging handle. It comes with a Magpul PSL brace, and it has a six position buffer tube. Now they did install a standard carving weight buffer and a pistol link gas system to help this shoot a little softer it's got the six and a half inch stable lock m lock handguard and you can see it's got the qd mounts at the three and nine o'clock position and this features their tapered retention system on the handguard and the reason they call it stable lock it has these little tabs that come out and those keep it from being able to twist at all if it did work loose at all so it can't really twist it's got an a2 flash hider 5 8 by 24 and the seven and a half inch barrel is 4150 chrome molly. Does include the Magpul K2 grip on it. Now the Frontline series is made to be more of their mid-tier, not really an entry level. This is definitely a mid-tier rifle and, or this one's a pistol, but the MSRP on this one comes in at just 799. So you're probably gonna find it a little cheaper than that even. Now this particular one, after about 350 rounds through it, I'm getting a four pound, 9.7 ounce trigger pull on it. So it's got a pretty decent trigger. And I'll show you here. There's your trigger. And there's your reset. Now Anderson did send this out to me for review and I wanna thank them for that. And whenever I did get it, the first five rounds went fine. And then on my fifth round anyways, I couldn't get the bolt carrier to open up. I mean, no matter how hard I pulled on this, I couldn't get it. Finally I had to take this, put this against a bench and kind of smash it and get it to pop out. And I thought, well, maybe the shells, the casing stuck or something. So I cleaned everything good, ran it again, did the same thing again. So I reached out to them. They sent me an RMA form, mailed it in to them. They sent it right back within, I believe I mailed it off on a Tuesday and I had it back by the following Monday. So super good customer service. Turns out, apparently when they had assembled it, something had got missed in the gas block. They had to fix that because the gas block, it came loose and allowed the gas tube to be catching the bolt and was hanging it up. Our customer service was absolutely wonderful and super quick turnaround on getting it back. 
So anything can have problems. As long as their customer service takes care of it, I'm perfectly happy with that. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and think I've earned it, consider subscribing. And if you think somebody else will enjoy it, make sure you share it out. We'll see you on the next one.